Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be doing the first Q&A video. Um, this is something that I'd like to do um, every Friday if there's enough interest in it. Um, so we're just kind of testing it out right now. But if you have a question um, that you would like to be answered, um, go ahead and throw it down in the comment section. And uh, next Friday, um, I will I'll answer it on on camera. So uh, anyway, let's let's go ahead and start off. We got a couple from the uh, first video here. And I'm going to go ahead and apologize in advance. I'm awful with usernames, so if I horribly butcher yours, I'm sorry. Uh, but here we go. First one from Brennan Jeffrey. Uh, where would you recommend getting decently priced Star Wars vehicles? Um, uh, most, of the, most of the stuff that I find uh, is usually from online sources. Um, Amazon and eBay are some of my favorites, um, but occasionally you can find um, like clearance prices um, at Walmart and Target.com or at the uh, actual Walmart or Target stores in their clearance section. You can get some really cheap stuff, especially at uh, Walmart. Um, another place, or another, uh, I guess it's a set of places that I find uh, a lot of decently priced Star Wars vehicles or, or really any collectible is uh, local comic book stores. Um, I am fortunate enough to live in a, a town that's large enough to have several comic book stores. And, you know, a lot of times when you have places like this, they, they lowball people who sell items there or they'll get them in huge lots. So they get them at good prices. And so they're under market value. And, uh, you know, I find a ton of stuff at, at local comic book stores. Um, but if you don't actually have uh, comic book stores in your area. Uh, one thing that I suggest doing is just anytime you you travel, like even a short distance, like um, for work or to visit family or whatever, um, just kind of look up on your route um, if there's going to be any towns that have comic book stores and you can stop on the way down or whatever. Um, and I usually have pretty good success with finding uh, stuff at stores that you don't normally go to. Uh, for good prices. So just kind of keep that in mind whenever you're you're traveling. Second part of your question, uh, would you sell a gunship? Um, and I'm not really at a, a point in my uh, collecting career, I guess, that I really want to sell anything off. Uh, so I probably am not going to sell uh, anything, especially a gunship because they're, they're my favorite vehicle from all of Star Wars. And this is a comment from the from the same same person regarding the tri droid figure. I believe it's supposed to be one of the smaller variants, like the combat or and not the magna. So this is uh, in reference to the uh, collection video I did. I said that my least one of my least favorite Star Wars um, action figures was the uh, tri droid from the 30th anniversary collection, and I thought that it was underscaled, but I did I did look it up on uh, Wikipedia. And it turns out that it could actually be the Magna. I'm not sure if that's what Hasbro intended, but there's definitely a canon place for that figure. Still doesn't mean I like it. I, I'm still not a fan of that figure. Uh, but at least, at least I can pretend it's in scale now. Okay, so this next uh, question is from Marvel and DC379. Um, what are your interests besides Halo and Star Wars? I love both, by the way. Um... Some things other than Star Wars and Halo, um, I really like Harry Potter, the movie and the books. Um, it's just a cool universe uh, that I really enjoy. Um, I also like uh, Game of Thrones a lot. Um, I'm, <laughs> I don't have HBO though, so I'm horribly behind on them because I have to wait for Netflix to put them out. And I'm sure some of you are like, wait, Netflix doesn't have Game of Thrones. They do if you order the discs. So that's the way I have to get them. Um, some more things, uh, Rick and Morty, of course, glad to see that they're coming back, um, you know, for more seasons. Still haven't seen season three because I'm, I'm just, don't have a ton of time, but love, uh, I love Rick and Morty, especially Morty. He's, he, I really connect with him for some reason. Um, let's see other things, maybe like Lord of the Rings. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Lord of the Rings, but I do really enjoy the movies, uh, especially the first three, the, uh. The Hobbit ones are okay, but they're not my favorite. Um, and finally, I'm just guessing by your username, Marvel and DC, that those are some things that you really enjoy. Um, I've got to say, mm, 
Marvel, I like, I definitely like Marvel more than DC, um, but I'm still way behind on all their Marvel movies. Um, I haven't, I haven't seen Infinity War. I think the last one that I watched was Ant-Man, which I don't even know when that one came out, but I'm horribly behind schedule um, on those. Uh, so anyway, that's, that's all the questions I got. Um, if you didn't get your question or, you know, if you want to leave a question uh, to get answered, I will be doing another video next Friday. So make sure you leave a comment down the comment section. And if you have more than one question, go ahead and leave it down there. I'll answer uh, everything I can get. So anyway, uh, that's all I've got. So I guess I'll see you later.